thank you for stopping by and welcome to the channel in today's video we're going to be driving from Edmonton Alberta to Jasper Alberta normally this would be a scenic drive but unfortunately today it's raining and cloudy so I'm gonna fast forward to where we think we could see the mountains but before we do that I want to give you a little tip before you hit the town of Jasper Maybe you want to go to the local Walmart in the town of Hinton and pick up some supplies like a case of water. So on my right you can see the Walmart and if you're like us and pass by it on the next street you can make a right and go into the Walmart. And if you go later in the day you can go into the Park West Mall. So let's get back on the road and head towards Jasper. While driving, I just want to show you this cool sign, or I thought it was cool. So we're still heading towards Jasper, and this is our view, and it's still raining and cloudy. And I just want to show you a photo of what it would look like on a better day. So it's still cloudy, foggy, and rainy. So I'm going to switch the view to how it would look on a better day. Now doesn't that look better? So here we are entering the Jasper National Park entrance. So I just want to say you're not allowed into the National Park without a permit. So if you have a park pass you go on the far right and if you don't you go on the far left as we don't so we have to go on the left. When you do get your park pass, you have to display it on your windshield and they'll be looking for it. And if you don't have it on there, they'll ticket you. Even if you're staying in a hotel in Jasper, it's in the national park and you still have to purchase a pass for those number of days you're staying. Good morning. Hi. We're gonna stay till uh, Friday. Six nights? And that's just Jasper or Jasper Lake Louise Bank all together? Yeah, all together. So six nights, you're one day shy of requiring the annual pass? We might as well get it because we're, we're going to Left Bridge. Yeah. So we might go to Walkerton. Yeah, exactly. Waterton. No, Waterton, yeah. Yeah, and, and it'll be good until the end of June or July next year, so you have 13 months out of it. Okay. So it's uh, 145.25. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice night. You guys put that on the dash. Or the mirror. And look how foggy and cloudy it is. You can't even see the mountain in front of us. So let's switch back the view where you can see the mountains. So now we're in Jasper National Park. So here's some things you might not know about being in the park. So before going on the trip, I watched some YouTube videos about Jasper and Banff. So I noticed that there's hardly any drone videos of the mountains. And there's good reason why not. Anyone flying a drone without an approved permit in a Canadian National Park will be fined $25,000. So Jasper and Banff are listed as a Canadian National Park. I was gonna buy a drone before the trip but once I found out I decided not to. I also found out Jasper National Park is the second largest dark sky preserve in the world and is listed as the largest accessible dark sky preserve meaning there's a town within the limits of the preserve. Look straight ahead and see the cloud I thought it looked pretty neat. So even though it could be cloudy, you can get some cool scenes with the clouds and the mountains. I like the, the way it looks like that. Like cloudy. As you can hear, even my son liked the view with the clouds and fog. Also I found the weather is unpredictable here. 
So even though they forecast a sunny day, it could be sunny in one minute and then start raining the next and vice versa. So don't get discouraged if you go on a hike and it's raining because it might stop and be sunny the next moment because that happened to us on several occasions. I also didn't know the day was longer here than in Toronto. The sun would start coming up at 4.30 in the morning and start going down at 10.30 at night. And in Toronto, the sun would start coming up at 5.30 in the morning and start going down at about 9. Sit back and relax and enjoy the ride as we head for the town of Jasper, Alberta. there will be several spots for you to pull off to the side of the road to take photos of the scenery. And if you notice it stopped raining. Okay, that's enough photos. Let's head back on the road.
Connaught Drive and I'll take you into the town of Jasper. This is also where the town sign is located and everybody likes to take their photo off there. Going along this road, and it'll take you into the town of Jasper. And uh, so happens to be the main road where most of the stores are. Hey, here we are entering the town of Jasper. And this is the commercial center of Jasper National Park. We found that downtown Jasper isn't as crowded and it's not as big as Banff. So let's take a drive through downtown Jasper. Ahead is the town railway station and also the municipal parking lot. Turn right on Miette Avenue, then take the first right. you enjoyed the video please subscribe like share leave a comment and hope to see you at our next video